Okay, good morning, good morning students, good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm your instructor, architect, and especially I would like to greet my students in, in design one. This is for you actually, this is the next lesson that I'm going to discuss with you, and this is something to this, still under our, uh, under the topic, introduction to design. And this morning... Uh, our topic, that, the topic that I'm going to discuss with you is the topic, what is design? And I'm hoping that uh, you will go through this video, you will not get, asleep, get sleepy, you will not get tired of watching this because I am looking forward that you can learn from this video. So, the, module, the objective of this module, the objective of this discussion is that you are going to describe, you will be able to describe the different aspects involved in design. And at the same time, you can demonstrate later on, you can demonstrate knowledge in the different factors that affects design. And at the same time, uh, later on, that you will be able to exhibit knowledge in design conceptualization. Conceptualization. So, uh, just allow me to go through with these slides and from time to time, I will be uh, elaborating all the details that I have uh, placed here. As we continue so the content of this module or the content of this module or topic is of course the definition of design the, what are the factors affecting design and the design conceptualization so uh, this may might take uh, a long time or this might take uh, several minutes for me to finish and I am hoping that uh, uh, you can learn from these slides and discussion. So the question is, what is design? Ano ba yung tinatawag nating design? So I'll be, I'll try to define design based on the sources that I have got from the internet and from different books. Now first here is that when you talk about design, society interpret design as sketches, painting, the way a product is packaged. Some of them take it as a product, camera, phone, sofa, and chairs. It's true, but design is not limited. In fact, design is broad. So, some people, when you say about when you say design, it can be referred to as the sketches, the painting, the packaging of their item. Sometimes, when you talk about design, it can it can they are referring design as a pro, as the product like camera, phone, sofa, etc. But design is not limited to these definitions or to these descriptions because when you talk about design, it is very broad. Now, uh, when you talk about design, the word design is used both as noun and a verb. So when design is used as a verb, uh, example, for example here is that it, it used the statement it uses the statement to design, meaning to create or to develop a plan or for a product, to develop a structure system or a component. No? So you, when you say design, to design something, to design a house, to design a structure, to design a sculpture, to design a system. No? Is, that's the way it is being used as a verb. But sometimes, but in some cases, it is also used as a noun. So meaning... Uh, you are referring to a product, you know, a design. You know, it's used for either, for either the final plan or the final solution or the result of the implemented plan. So a noun or a design. So make, let's make that clearer through this slide. So design is both a verb to design. It refers to the process of designing. You no. Know? Uh, and I think under this uh, course, uh, we will also discuss about the process of design. But at the same time, when you talk about design as a noun, a design, again, like what I have said earlier, it refers to the product or the implementation of the plan. So Google defined design as do or plan something with a specific purpose or intention in mind. So whatever things that you have in your mind, whatever intentions you have in your mind, um, maybe there are some problems that you have to think and to give solution with. So you are going to think of what design or system, no, 
or a design system that you are going to make so that you can come so that you can uh, impute it to a, to a given problem to a given situation and solve it through your design so referring to that definition we could safely say that design is a method a method to reach a specified objective so may mga plan may objective ka may gusto kang mangyari may mga uh, bagay kang uh, tinatry mo ma-achieve so the, that's so so you are designing something to achieve those things design is how we solve problem in our own way take note objectively so me it means uh, we are designing it objectively so design according to this is a plan to make new useful things for people mga bagong uh, importante or useful na mga bagay para sa mga tao so that is also a definition good definition of what design is now let's proceed with the factors affecting design so may mga bagay uh, na nagiging reason kung, ba kung bakit uh, uh, may iba't ibang uri ng design or yung mga yun sabi nga dito factors affecting design ano yung mga bagay na pwedeng mag-affect sa design mo like design of a building design of a structure design of a sculpture design of anything no? so ano yung mga bagay na yun that can affect, possibly affect your design so number one factors affecting design is appropriateness ulit appropriateness no? appropriateness suitable as a solution to a design problem during the space race between the USA and USSR, example to, in the 1950s and 1960s, the US spent large amount of money designing an, a pen that would work in zero gravity. The USSR used a pencil. So, uh, nagets nyo yung ibig sabihin nito. Appropriateness is something that can affect your design. How are you going to design a pen that is appropriate? to the situation there in the outdoor, uh, outer space. So, parang ganun. So, you have to do something. Uh, you have to design a pen, to create a pen, to design a pen that uh, it will work effectively even though it is being used outside this, outside the earth, outside the planet, meaning in the outer space. So, it can, uh, it will, it's not affected by gravity. So, meaning ganun, dapat appropriateness, appropriateness of the design of the house to the requirements of the owner, the appropriateness of the design of the street to the users, to the commuters, to the to the pedestrians, to the private vehicles. So, meaning, you are designing something appropriately or it is appropriate to what is needed, to what is uh, required or expected no? so ganun, ganun yun parang napagod ako sa explanation na yun number one pa lang yun of course one, another thing that can affect a design is the need or the needs, perceived needs are things that a person feels they must have so for example, yung upuan na to ang sakit sa likod, pag sumasandal so anong gagawin kong design para Pag umupo ako, kahit umupo ako ng buong araw, buong buwan, hindi masakit sa puwet. Hindi sasakit yung likod ko. So, parang ganun. So, you are designing something based on that need na nakita mo. For example, yung, ano pa, uh, yun, mahirap mag maghanap ng example. Ano pa mga example? For example, uh, ano pa nga bang example? Yung mouse. No? Yung mouse. May mga times... May mga instances na may mga mouse kang magagamit na parang madaling mangala yung kabay mo. Parang subasakit. Parang magde-develop ka ng carfal problem sa kamay mo. So, meaning, uh, may need. No? So, dapat you are so, yun, yung challenge. Because of that need, you are going to design a mouse that will uh, prevent those problems to the person that is using it. So, need are th needs are things a person must have in order to survive like for example food water shelter once are things a person would like to have but can can live without it okay yun so needs can affect your design function if design works for its intended use so yung function is also very important ano ba yung function ano ba yung function ng building ano ba yung function ng building does it 
uh, uh, respond no to what is really required for example anong magiging itsura ng anong magiging itsura ng eh, mga simple examples lang uh, nung una nung una so hindi niyo pa siguro naabutan ako ay may na generation na naabutan ko yung mga luma at saka yung mga bago pero siguro nung mga time na yon no uh, may telepono for you to dial the phone iikutin mo trang trang may sound effects pa trang gumano yon pagkatapos naalala ko pa yung telephone number nung bata kami 327 327 basta nakala So yun, par- pero uh, parang analog na type Until such time na nag-evolve, nag-develop nakita, nakita ni Apple, ni Samsung, ni iPhone Yung mga needs ng tao So na-develop yung function E ngayon, yung cellphone Meron ng kalahat, camera, internet uh, Lahat-lahat So yun, be- because So yung, yung function no, na-develop At the same time, design aste- uh, a- 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 Aesthetic is another thing that can affect the design. Siyempre, dapat laging maganda. It refers to the beauty or looks of the design. And it is also very important because beauty has a value. For you to entice people to 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 patronize your design, it should also be appealing no, to the eyes of the, of the people. So, aesthetic. It's very important. Ergonomics. So, later on in your history of architecture or design or a theory of architecture, you will get encounter topics such as uh, anthropometrics. It is, it is the study of human measurement. And at the same time, you are going to encounter ergonomics. It is the... Uh, yun, ito yung definition. Basahin ko na lang. It is the study of relationship between people and their physical environment. So meaning, the furnitures, the balcony heights, the handle sizes, anong handle? Handle ng mga uh, doors, etc. Yung mga railing, stairs, yung mga sizes, yung mga sizes nun, tsaka mga shapes nun, binase sa human measurement, sa standard na human measurement. So that it will... Uh, it will respond to the human measurement. So that's ergonomics. So it's very important also in design. And it is something, it is one of the factors that can affect design. Of course, uh, in some other instances, sustainability is also a factor that can affect design. So meaning, the resources, the energy that can be replaced by natural processes, renewable, in a relative short space of time, this difference between timber, renewable, and oil, non-renewable. So, ngayon, uso na yung tinatawag natin na sustainability. So, we are choosing materials that is sustainable, that it that is renewable. We are choosing materials that are, that are environmentally friendly. So, yun. And it will have an effect to your design. How am I going to design a chair? How am I going to design uh, a plate? How am I going to design a spoon and fork that is sustainable? How am I going to design a straw that is sustainable and it is renewable and it is environmentally friendly? So, sustainability is is very important, especially nowadays. Medyo nakalimutan na natin yung tinatawag natin climate change because of the pandemic pero andyan pa rin yung problema about climate change so sustainability is being, being pushed and uh, encouraged to everyone also to our design and energy so it is used to create, produce, market and consume designs etc electricity, heat, oil, fuel etc So, yun. Kailangan mo itong mga bagay na to like electricity, heat, oil, fuel, for you. The availability of this can affect your design, can affect your design solution, can affect your production. That is why energy is important. So, for example, no? Uh, paano mo gagawin yung ano? Paano mo gagawin yung uh, yung sculpture mo kung wala kang energy? <laughs> yun na ba? Yun na example ko. Wala na akong maisa. So, yun. Paano mo gagawin yun? And many other examples. May mga naisip ko I think, alam ko, na may naisip ko Now, also recyclability. Yun nga yung sabi ko kanina, somehow medyo re- related to sa tinatawag nating sustainability. Uso na yun yung tinatawag na upcycling and recycling. 
we are creating products that is recyclable and that can be used so that ma-minimize yung uh, pag-gather natin ng mga non-renewable resources. So, ini-encourage natin yung recyclability. How can we use a face mask that is recyclable? Kasi most of the face masks, like yung mga clinical mask, N95, dapat medyo, dapat i-ano mo siya talaga, i-dispose mo siya. May certain period or certain time lang siya na pwedeng gamitin. So, dapat i-dispose mo. So, what can you do? How can you design something uh, such as a face mask that is recyclable? So, medyo ma may mga ganong situation. Para at least, hindi masyado dumadami yung basura. Especially like this uh, garbage or, or na meron tayo ngayon, mga face mask uh, na ginagamit na. So, items ability to be broken down after use to serve as a raw materials for a new product. So, ganun. Safety and health, another factor that can affect design. Important, and it's something that's very important. How are you going, like for example, a chair. Oh, how are you going to make sure that it's safe? Design a house. How are you going to make make it sure that it is safe for the old people, for the children, toddlers, infant, and at the same time for middle-aged people? So it should be safe. It should also promote good health to those people who are using it. So a design should not pose any health hazards throughout its life cycle from design, production, and use, and, and disposal. So quality. So quality... The ability of a product to perform its function for an acceptable period of time without breaking or failing. So, may mga gagawin tayong mga activities later on. Siyempre, ina-expect natin, ina-expect ko coming from you, the quality. Na hindi lang siya aesthetically acceptable, hindi lang siya siguro nagre-respond sa mga needs ninyo, but at the same time, it is quality. It has good quality. No? So, meaning maganda yung pagkakagawa. So, meaning, so meaning maganda yung pagkakagawa. So, meaning maganda yung... <laughs> so, meaning maganda yung pagkakagawa. Maganda yung output. Maganda yung... Time, may, minigyan yung mismo ng time. No? Si Sir Montefrio. Yun yun. Hello, Sir. Shout out to our department head, Sir Jalmar Montefrio. Medyo, medyo maliit lang na interruption. Uh, section B. This is a uh, recording, sir. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's okay. So, yung quality. Kasi, syempre, uh, mahilig tayo sa mga... Naalala ko nung, nung college ako. Medyo segue lang ng konti para hindi masyado boring. Uh, nag Gumawa kami, syempre, class, first day ng klase. Uh, botohan ko sino president. I think we were, we were already in our third year during that time. Pagkatapos dapat may moto, may moto, may moto daw dapat yung section. So, yung moto namin, deadline bukas, ngayon ang paspas. So, if that's the if that's the attitude, no, no, tinatawanan lang namin yun. Pero if that's, the, if that's the attitude, so anong mangyayari? You know, medyo hindi maganda yung quality ng output mo. So, yun yung challenge dun. Your design, your output, your product, you know, it's very important yung quality. So, meaning may time. No, may time, may dedication na kasama. No? Durability. In effect, no, yung durability, uh, yun, how will your design last? How will it take? Is it stable? Is it durable against wear and tear? Against mga natural occurrences like ulan, bagyo, lindol, and whatsoever? No? Strong siya ba? Strong ba siya against sa anay, langgam, langaw, lamok, mga ganun? No? Kasama pang lamok. So, obsolence. When your product is no longer of any use and must be recycled or discarded. No? Built-in obsolence is when a product is designed to last for a certain period of time. So, yun yun. Obsolence. So, yun. Kumbaga, we are designing our product we, no we are designing our product in such a way na trying trying na somehow uh, timeless yun ba yung ibig sabihin nito sige search niyo na lang more so pero again when you when the product is no longer of any use and must be recycled or discarded uh, discarded 
So, may mga situations na yung design natin nagiging obsolete na. So, we are challenged to design in such a way that it can be timeless. Like yung mga paboritong architects, like Frank Lloyd Wright. Yung mga designs niya during the times, during his time, no, kung i- kung ipo-compare mo sa mga modern sa mga bagong buildings ngayon parang hindi siya naluluma and many other designs of Le Corbusier and uh, yun life cycle analysis analysis of a design <coughs> excuse me excuse me po at uh, analysis of a design at all stages from conception to disposal this is usually a measure of the effect of design or product has on the environment so ano nga ano nga ibig sabihin nito this is usually a uh, uh, analysis of a design at all stages from conception to disposal so meaning uh, may nangyayari talaga ngayon yun no? for example may mga large projects yung mga malalaking company uh, part nung plan nila is when they end their contract when they end the, the given time for them to operate dapat may plan din sila how to evacuate all their buildings all their equipments and at the same time uh, paano nila malilinis yung mga ba- yung yung pinanggalingan nila and how so so ganun yun may mga ganun talaga mga mga big companies example noon mga mining companies pagkatapos nila ga- gamit ng mga areas how are going to evacuate or how are going to leave the area na hindi siya parang ganun na lang parang basta-basta na lang iniwan no nangyari na ba sa iyo uh, meaning parang may may plan para at least hindi siya hazardous and still it can positively affect the the, the life ng mga tao doon so ganun yun so again i-review natin what are the factors that can affect your design appropriateness needs Function, aesthetic, ergonomics, sustainability, energy, recyclability, safety and health, quality, durability, obsolescence, life cycle, analysis. So, yun yung mga 13. Baka may mga naalala pa kayo, baka may mga gusto pa kayo i-share, pwede natin idagdag dito. O baka may mga additional pa kayong mga definitions, comments, o pwede nyo nalang idagdag dito. no? Next. Let's proceed to the highlight. Kumbaga, importante yung mga bagay na na-discuss ko ngayon. Yung mga bagay na diniscuss ko ngayon. Importante yun. Pero, uh, pero the most important part of this presentation or this discussion is the design conceptualization. Because later on, yung activity ninyo dito, dito magbumula o dito ito yung pagpabasihan ninyo. So, concept. Ano ba yung tinatawag nating concept? Sino ba yun? Tao ba to? Makikita sa bahay? Sa banyo? Kinakain? Masarap ba to? Masak- ma- matigas ba? O mapakla? Mapait? No? Prutas ba to? Anong color niya? Color blue? So what is a concept? Ano ba talaga yung concept? So concept, uh, in simple words, it is an idea idea something form in the mind a thought or a notion it is a mind presentation a solution are here driving force of any project an identity for the work so that is a concept it can be an idea it can be a thought or a notion it is a mind presentation probably sometimes it is also the idea your idea of how you are going to solve a certain problem Now, and it can be in that at the same it can be your the identity of a given work so that is a concept so yun definitions of concept parang mga synonyms niya na nandito idea theory notion party 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 conception it can be your opinion abstraction philosophy belief inspiration i hope that you are inspired no The expired, inspired, image, view, intention, plan, thought, impression, hypothesis, design. So these are some definitions of concept. So where do concepts, where do ideas or concepts come from? So saan ba nangyayari yun? Iisa-isahin natin to. 
itong mga bagay na to, saan pwede mangyari o saan pwede manggaling yung concept? Saan pwede manggaling yung idea? Saan pwede manggaling yung mga concept? Saan pwede manggaling yung idea? Inulit ko lang. So, pwede manggaling yung mga concepts mo o yung mga ideas mo from the site, from the program, o yung mga functional requirements of a given space, place, culture, society, technology, material, method, personal and architectural influences, movement, space, speed, memory, place, precedent, precedent research or researches. So, isahin sa natin to. Isahin natin to. So, your concept or your ideas can come from the site. Now, ito medyo in the advanced course, in your advanced courses in architecture, you will get to experience or you will get to encounter this or this topic or this thing. And from then on, until you became an architect, until you retired as an architect, ito yung bagay na to, it is very important and you will have to do this thing from time to time. So, site. Yung site analysis na tinatawag natin is a preliminary phase of architectural and urban design processes dedicated to the study of the climatic, geographical, historical, legal, and infrastructural context of a specific site. So, yun yung, ano, yun yung edge natin, beca becoming an architect, because we are all giving so much importance in our site, no, through site analysis. So, for example, yung layout ng bahay mo, saan ang gagaling yung sunrise, saan yung sunset, o yung sa site mo pa lang, meaning the location, the space, the lot, yun pa lang, you are designing your house based on what is given in the site, no, Based on how you understand the site through your site analysis. So, yung sunrise, saan nanggagaling yung... Ay, saan yung sunrise? Nasa east. East. Yung sunset, papunta sa west. So, kung gusto mo talaga, sabi nila, kung gusto mo talaga na maganda yung bahay mo, or kung baka kong swerte, so dapat i-orient mo siya kung saan yung, ano, kung saan yung magandang orientation based sa, ano, sa movement ng sun. Parang ganun. May mga ganong mga clients, may mga ganong mga tao na yun yung paniniwala nila. So, very critical yung position ng bahay, yung uh, in, in relation to the movement or to the direction of the sun. So, sa yung uh, hanging habagat, hanging amihan? No? So, you are orienting the, your house based on the wind patterns. So, marami pang mga bagay. So, It is a preliminary phase, a preliminary phase of architectural and urban design processes dedicated to the study of the climatic, geographical, historical, legal, and infrastructural context of a specific site. So, hindi natin masyado hahabaan yung definition natin kasi soon, you are going to encounter this many, many times. No? And you are going to discuss this on some other courses you have in architecture. So, site is very important and it gives you uh, an idea or the concept that you are going to, to impute to your design. Also, another thing is yung play, society, and culture. So, yung example natin dito is the Iloilo Convention Center located in, of course, Iloilo. So, how does place... Society and culture can affect the design of something like here, for example, a building, the Iloilo Convention Center. So, sabi nila, sabi lang nila, no? which somehow I believe na yung design ng Iloilo Convention Center reflects the culture, the place, and the society here in Iloilo. Like for example, yung design niya para nakapattern sa mga sa mga layag ng mga paraw, no? Pagkatapos may mga sa mga glasses niya, may mga naka-etch na mga parang na mga warriors ng dinagyang. No? So it reflects the the Iloilo cult, the Ilonggo culture. It reflects Iloilo. No? So yung society, yung culture, yung place where it is located gave an idea of how Iloilo Convention Center can will be designed no by that by the architect architect Cuscoluela. So yun 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 yung ganun. Now another uh, your concept can also be derived through the available technology 
weapons the, through the available technology the the available or or the, or the the preferred materials and the method of construction like for example itong kung nakikita nyo no kitang kita dito no na ito yung Judgenheim Museum in Bilbao Spain designed by uh, the constructivist architect Frank Jerry so yung concept niya nakikita mo dito parang ano lang mga kuris-kuris Oh, no, parang ma, ano, parang ganun. Kuris-kuris, ano nga ba yung kuris-kuris? Parang ganun. So, in effect, ito yung naging design niya. Ito yung naging output niya. And he used steel. I think I forgot the exact material that he used that he specified for this construction. But the style is the constructivism, no? And the material is I forgot, no? Aluminum. Or basta mga metal sheets, metal claddings na ginagamit niya dito. And it's very, kumbaga, coming from an organic form na na-sketch niya, ito yung, ito yung naging output niya. So, technology is is very important here. The type of materials and the construction method uh, gave him the idea of what, of the, uh, gave him, um, an output like this one or provide or created an output like this one so technology can affect can can uh, can have can be something can be can give you an idea of what could be your concept now per now another design sabi nila this in the picture you can see that this is the falling water falling falling water Yung, tawag, yung pangalan ng, ano, ng may-ari siguro si Kaufman, Kaufman House, also known as the Falling Water. Falling Water is the most photographed uh, residential building in the whole world. Siyempre, paano ba naman na hindi pipicturan to? Ang ganda ng, uh, ang ganda ng design, ang ganda ng pagkakarelate niya sa environment, perfect combination of, of water, wood scenery, good background emphasis of the structure no uh, so this design or the concept of this design is based on a personal architectural influence of Frank Lloyd Wright ano yung term na ginagamit niya basahin natin dito central to Wright's rights design philosophy is the concept he expounded of organic organic. So ngayon, di ba, uso na yung mga organic para hindi tayo magkasakit organic. Organic uh, food, organic. Ano mga ano bang mga organic ngayon, sir? Organic na mga <laughs> mga pagkain. <laughs> organic. So mara uso na ngayon yung for organic, no? So pero yung design niya o yung architecture niya is yung tinatawag yung organic architecture, meaning parang it relates to the environment. No? It, it responds to the environment. Yun yung design philosophy niya. Yun yung inspiration niya lagi sa mga designs niya. He proposed that the design of the building should draw upon the natural landscape through the employment of simple design elements and the use of light, space, natural color. Yun. So that's why it is a modern architecture but for Frank Lloyd Wright, Aside from modern architecture, it is organic, meaning it really uh, relates to its environment. So yun talaga yun, yun yun no? Makikita mo pa sa ibang mga designs niya, ganun talaga yung mga approach ni Frank Lloyd Wright. So for example, no, uh, going back to organic, organic shape of the Nautilus shell, din dun niya binase yung design niya na, ng Solomon Judgenheim Museum in New York. New York. So, iba naman yung kay Frank Jerry, Judgenheim Museum to in Bilbao, yun sa Bilbao, Spain. Ito naman, uh, in New York, United States of America. So, coming from the concept of Nautilus Shell, which is all, which, uh, it's where he derived the form, no? So, ito yung itsura niya. Again, oh, tingnan natin, timeless yung design niya. Hindi na luluma very timeless. Another is movement. Uh, meaning, may mga pinaglalaban ka. Ikaw, ano bang pinaglalaban mo sa buhay mo? No? 
ano mga ano ba yung mga pinaglalaban mo sa life mo now in the case of my most favorite Filipino architect architect Francisco Bobby Manyosa an advocate of Filipino architecture yun yung pinaglalaban niya that arch- that Filipino architecture should be promoted and, and yung I have read his book no when I was in college laging tambayan ko yung library not all the time para magbasa but sometimes para rin mag matulog syempre tahimik doon pero hindi naman sa lahat ng bag oras nagbabasa minsan natutulog pero syempre nagbabasa rin and one of the books that I really love reading and from time to time iniiskan ko ulit-ulit is the book of Bobby Manyosa no and and the books related to Philippine architecture and Bobby Manyosa is really an advocate of Filipino architecture So, marami siyang mga designs. And one of his design is the Coconut Palace wherein he integrated na- native materials, uh, vernacular, vernacular, vernacular materials. He inter- and his concept is, is always derived from bahay kubo, bahay na bato. Yun talaga yung ano niya. Uh, yun talaga. And really, it's, it really created an impact no, yung mga designs niya. Uh, through his uh, advocacy the Filipino architecture so one of his design uh, some of these designs are a pearl farm beach resort in Davao so concept niya bahay kubo ito naman yung San Miguel Corporation building uh, in Makati ang concept niya banawi banawi rice terraces so kung titingnan niyo yung design niya very beautiful very yun din timeless no And he is really one of my, he is really my most favorite Filipino architect because of that advocacy na meron siya. And just share ko lang no that when I saw him receiving his award as National Artist in Architecture, no parang parang iiyak ako during that time no kasi uh, I'm so happy that his efforts no as an architect No, advocate of Filipino architecture kasi sabi niya sa libro niya is may Balinese architecture, may mga Vietnamese architecture, may mga Chinese architecture. Pero kung isipin mo Filipino architecture, ano bang ma- ano bang makikita mo? No bahay kubo. Yes. Pero example, ano pa ba? Ano ba pwede natin ipag- pwede natin ipagmalaki na Filipino architecture or yung mga Ganun. Kasi kala, most of the houses, most of the designs meron ngayon sa, mod, sa, sa, sa time natin are Mediterranean, Spanish, uh, Victor, mga yun, yung, yung, yung mga designs, mga modern. Pero it does not respond to the environment here in the country, to the weather we have here in the in the Philippines. No? So sa kanya, yun yung advocacy niya. The Filipino architecture should respond to the culture of the Filipino. Filipino architecture should respond to the climate we have here in our country and he he made that no he did he did that he was so uh, successful in all his designs promoting that advocacy so yun 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 yung gina, yun, yun that's why I'm so happy when I saw him nasa wheelchair pa siya during the time when he received his uh, award as national artist for architecture you know Next, space and emotion. Sometimes, no? Emotion! <laughs> Sometimes, emotion can also give us inspiration or motivation or concept. It can it, it is also something that can give us concept or idea. So, tingnan mo yung mga design ni sa hadid. Parang full of emotion. No? Parang it has a lot of space full of emotion parang may 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 parang may pinaghuhugutan so it's very beautiful it's very awesome fascinating na mga design na parang alam mong hindi lang minadali kumbaga pinagtuunan ng pansin mabusising pag-aaral uh, proper analysis and what drives you doing that no syempre kung inspired ka at gustong-gusto mo yung mga bagay na ginagawa mo emotion emotion. Now, yung isang design ni Zahadid, ganda, the Haydar Aliyev Center in Baku, Azerbaijan. Ulit, ulitin natin. The Haydar, uh, ulit, mali. 
the Haydar Ali ulit last na lang the Haydar Aliyev Center in Baku Ahar Azerbaijan <laughs> yun basta Azerbaijan no so yung concept niya is the skirt of Marilyn Monroe so yun yung concept niya imagine na isip niya yun hindi ko na isip yun na kayo na isip niya yun pero na isip niya yun no yun yung concept niya so ito yung naging, naging itsura niya Tsaka yun, may nagtry na mag-connect nung itsura ni Marilyn Monroe. So para ah, ganito, definitely it is really derived from the skirt, no, yung design niya of Marilyn Monroe. So ang galing, no? Ang galing. One of my favorite architect also. So sabi ni Sahad, I don't think that architects is only about shelter. It's only about very simple enclosure. It should be able to excite you, to calm you, and to make you think. So yun daw. And it's definitely right. No? Hindi lang, hindi lang, we're not just designing a shelter, we're just designing to do to provide an enclosure, but this is what we should do. It should be able to excite you, stir up your emotion, make you happy, make you feel relaxed, and at the same time, it can calm you, And it can cause you to think, to ponder. Ganun. No, ganun yun yung ginagawa niya. So, yun yung emotion. Also, your concept can also be derived through technology, speed and technology. So, yun. Uh, like for example, this building. Technology, no, space frame architecture, mga lights and uh, lightweight materials. So, yun. So, mga amazing structures, unexpectedly possible, but it's possible. Why? Because there's technology na ginamit. Memory or place. Yung concept mo, some, it can also be derived from the historical background of a certain place. Like for example, yun, sa may luneta, ipasintabi na lang po. Uh, excuse na lang po kasi meron pong Torre de Manila dito sa likod. Sana dua, dalawa na lang no para balance na the joke. Uh, pero, yun, the design can be derived, the concept can be, derived, can be derived, can be derived based on the historical background meron dun sa place na yun. It can, it's possible. It is also being done. Like here in Iloilo. No? So, hindi nila dinemolish yung mga old structures natin in the downtown area. Anong ginawa nila? Uh, rehabilitate or uh, inayos, re 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 restore. No? So nga, bakit? Bakit? Because that area is under the heritage uh, area, sites in Iloilo. And no, it should not be demolished or, or, or altered. It should only be uh, it can, It can only be rehabilitated, reconstructed to maintain uh, the essence of the area. Because it part na to ng historical value ng Iloilo City, part na to ng uh, heritage uh, value ng, ng, ng city. So that's why it's, it, was, it was only restored, uh, may adaptive reuse lang na kinonsider, meaning... Yung old structure, iniba lang yung function niya sa loob. It can be used as restaurant or something para at least ma-preserve. No? Pero the sense of place na maintain pa rin. So, because of the historical background na meron yung place na to. So, yun yung nangyari doon. Yun, yung Nellis Garden o yung Lopez Mansion. So, maganda yung history nito. And heritage na to, ancestral house. It is now being preserved. It is being, kumbaga, na pinag-iingatan because part, ni, part to ng history ng Iloilo City. Another concept is this. I hope that you are still here. Ako parang hinihingal ako. Kasi hindi ko gusto umabot ng isang oras eh. Pero parang hinihingal ako. So yung tawag natin dito is the President Research. Akala natin kasi, kasami, akala natin kasi minsan bago yung ginagawa natin hindi natin alam na may mga tao na palang nauna na nakaisip ng idea natin. For example, yung mga buildings natin ngayon, mga skyscraper, mga high-rise buildings, uh, bago yung mga countries nag, nagpapataasan ng mga buildings, 
Yun yung, pinak yung pinakamataas ngayon, isang Burj Khalifa, uh, less than 1 kilometer yung height niya. Pero, kung, kung hindi mo alam, no, si Frank Lloyd Wright, during his time, ay, anong era ba nabu nabuhay si Frank Lloyd? Mga 1950s? I do not know. I forgot. Pero, he, during his time, naisip niya na yung tinatawag na mile high building design concept. Meaning, uh, his goal is that in that mile high building, it will, sh it will house uh, it will house many people in that mile high building. Isa ka mile. Ano nga ba kahaba yung isang mile? No? So, yun. Yun yung concept niya. Yun yung idea niya. In that one mile tall building or high building, magiging shelter siya para sa marami. So that uh, ma-minimize yung use ng space. No? So, imagine uh, yung Burj Khalifa less than 1 kilometer, pero yung sa kay Frank Lloyd Wright na concept, no? lumilipad yung concept niya, lumilipad yung isip niya. No? Mga 1 mile high, high na, 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 no? na tall, na high, kahay na building. No? Parang na-high ako. Ah. Okay, ganun yun. So, meaning, hindi na bago yung concept na ng skyscraper. Uh, medyo, ngayon lang talaga, naging mas modern lang, mas, mag mag mga, mas magagandang technology ang ginagamit, mas lightweight, and of course, durable. No? So, pero that concept, uh, that, that concept, that, that design, medyo meron na talagang mga nauna. And one example of that is the concept of Frank Lloyd Wright in his mile high building. So, yun, President. Now, let me discuss with you the dimensions of concept. Any building concept should provide exterior expression. Explain natin mamaya. O si explain ko na lang ngayon. When you say exterior expression, it, it through by looking at the exterior design, you uh, the building expresses itself already. Kung ano function niya, kung anong, kung anong purpose ng building. No? Kasi mga buildings, may mga characters yun. Uh, may mga tinatawag ng architectural character. Like for example, the architectural character of a bank. Yung design ng bank, most of the time, nung una, especially if it is stand-alone structure, kasi mga banks ngayon, nasa, nag-rent na lang sa mga commercial spaces. Eh. Pero may mga banks nung una, even hanggang ngayon, na naka, nasa stand-alone structure. So, ang design ng mga structures na yun, yung structure na yun, dinesign mismo, pinatayo mismo para sa purpose of a bank. No? So, yung design nun, medyo heavy, medyo malalaki yung mga columns, medyo parang, parang ang bibigat because it reflects the purpose of the bank. In a stable, strong, tiyak na matibay, tiyak na maasahan. No? Ano pang mga ano? We make the best happen. You're in good hands. No? We find ways. No? So, ganun daw yun eh. I, the design should it express the function, the purpose. So, kaya, importante yung exterior expression. At the same time, interior experience. No? Pagpasok mo, hindi lang maganda yung sa harapan, hindi lang maganda yung fasad, pero pagpasok mo mismo, parang ayaw mo nang lumabas. Siyempre, dapat lalabas ka. Hindi man pwede na doon ka nalang matutulog. Pwera na lang kung bahay mo yon or kung condo mo yon. Pero yung ganun, you are giving, providing a good experience to the people who are using that building. And then that's what we call good interior experience. Hindi pagpasok mo, parang ayaw, parang ayaw mo nang lumabas. Ay, parang, ayun. Hindi, hindi, may iba kasi, pagpasok mo, parang gusto mo nang lumabas. O parang pagkakita mo pa lang sa labas, ayaw mo nang pumasok. May mga ganun eh. Pero it should be, ba, it should be, it should have both of this. No, exterior expression. No, kilala nyo to. Yeah. Exterior expression, meaning, no, in the Marina Basins, it reflects what Singapore is. Singapore. Singapore is. Kung ano meron sila ngayon. Kung baga, pag tingin mo ng building, it reflects to what? To the economic status, to the status of the country. Parang ganun yung sinasabi niya. Yung Louis Vuitton building, no? Uh, anong tawag doon? Uh, uh, yon Very... I forgot the term. Nasa dulo ng dila ko. Uh, pero ganun. Uh, beautiful, extravagant, no? 
prestige yun yung sinasabi yung, yung gusto ko sabihin prestige it it express expresses the prestige it has so it can be seen through the exterior design of the building yun it this it, so yung marina bay sands it reflects to the kind of economic status the singapore has so parang ganun yun some other buildings there now when you talk about interior experience eto yung Singapore National Library by by architect Ken Yang yung concept niya yung parang funnel funnel concept yung parang ano tawag doon imbudo may maliit na na space paglabas pumapasok yung hangin paglabas doon malakas na yung hangin parang ganun yung concept niya so pagpasok mo doon sa loob mafi-feel mo talaga na parang may force yung hangin and it was derived from the funnel theory or yung concept niya na funnel na pag may mali, mag may mumapaso, paglabas siya, balakas na, something ganun, ganun yun. So, it can be sense when you are there in the inside, o kumbaga in the interior of that building or inside the building. So, maliwalas, malamig, kahit walang aircon sa labas, and it gives you that sense of experience, no? good experience. So, in the interior of the Marina Basins, fascinating, prestige, extravagance ang makikita mo. So, of course, yung Jewel in Changji International Airport, no? may mga ganun. Parang, may, parang makakalimutan mo na may flight ka pa kasi parang gusto mo na lang tumambay dun sa loob. So, few more slides, then we are done. And, I hope na somehow, First, I hope na may natututunan kayo kahit pa paano ngayon. And I hope na sana na-record ko to. Baka hindi ko na-click yung record. At saka mag-isang oras na ako nagsasalita, hindi pala na-record. Pero I hope na-record siya. Pero ang tanong, pwede ba ako mag-design na kahit walang concept? Pwede ba ako mag-design? Pwede naman siguro, no? Actually, pwede naman. Pero ito yung importansya ng merong concept yung design mo. You might be thinking, or you might be asking yourselves, can I design without a concept? Why do I need to go through all the trouble? Bakit ko kasi kailangan paghirapan na kailangan talaga dapat may concept? Bakit ko kailangan talagang mag, mag-isip ng concept talaga? Hindi pwedeng wala na lang? Hindi ba pwedeng, uh, tawag doon, palagpat na lang? So that's absolutely true, but, Take note of this. You need a concept because, eto, eto, eto. Kung nababasa nyo, it gives depth and meaning to your work. So meaning may depth ang work mo, may meaning yung work mo, and it gives value to your work. The more innovative and coherent your concept, the more interesting your work is. Bakit maganda yung falling water? Bakit, even until today, many decades after it was built, yung mga tao intrisado sa falling water or sa Kaufman House because of the concept of Frank Lloyd Wright about organic architecture which has something to do about the structure being able to relate to its immediate environment. Bakit timeless yung Solomon Judge and Hay Museum in New York? Because of the concept of the Nautilus shell that really gave an organic form to the structure and it made that structure to be timeless even until today. Why is it the Opera House in uh, <laughs> Opera House in Sydney in Sydney, Australia 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 Maraming mga ano, maraming mga concept doon maraming mga parang nagiging ini sa may may mga sliced tomatoes daw ano pa ba mga shells daw so yun pero why is it that it is still attracts people because yung design hindi lang yung design but the concept where the design was derived is something that is good interesting no so virtual arab in Dubai, no, yung sale. So, it gives meaning to your work. It gives a depth to what you are designing. Concepts open the door for more related ideas. They make you think and research. 
a richer concept means a richer building. No, yun na yun, yun yun, and I believe that with all my heart. A richer concept means a richer building. Concepts are with disgusting. Concepts are what distinguish architects. Anong disgusting? Nagsasabi ko dito. Concepts are what distinguish architects. Yes, anyone might be able to design functionally with experience. But your creativity is what makes you special. Even among peer architects and designers. So, yun. Ano daw? Ibig sabihin nun? Yes, anyone might be able to design functionally with experience. Pwede natin i-design. Kahit walang concept-concept, space planning na lang, design na lang. Pero yung creativity mo through the concept that you have can make you special. Have you fi have you ever felt special? No. Pero kung hindi, eh magisip ka na magandang concept and it will make your design special. Even among peer architects and designers. So few more slides. I think last second to the last. At medyo hinihingal na ako sa kakasalita dito para akong para akong tangi. <laughs> Pero okay lang. You know, I am happy discussing this. Be, help! I am stuck! Be comfortable. So, pag nahihirapan ka, parang hindi mo alam kung anong concept na na gusto mong, ibi, gusto mong gawin o gusto mong i, ilagay or gusto mong parang wala kang paghuhugutan, paghuhugutan ng concept. So, anong dapat mong gawin? Be comfortable. Use any, yes, any way you find best to express what you are thinking of. So, yun. Use any. Yes, any. Understand the nature and context of the project you are working on. So, ano ba yung project na ginagawa mo? Ano ba yun? Building? Ano ba yun? Museum? Yun. So, based on what is that project is, based on the context that corresponds to that project, yun yung posible. Doon ka pwedeng makahanap ng mga concept na pwede mong gamitin. Brainstorm. Storm your brain. Brainstorm. No? Uh, ang ganda ng term yun. Is, is brainstorm. Or storm mo yung brain mo. I don't know. Tsaka, tama ba? Don't be afraid to experiment. Huwag kang matakot. No? Huwag kang matakot mag-experiment. No problem with that. Walang mali. No? Pero every time pwede tayong mag pwede tayong pwede natin i-develop. No? May mga iba, may mga iba nagkaka-develop, nagkaka-developan lang eh. Ikaw pa kaya? Pwede mo ma-develop yung skills mo in conceptualizing uh, from time to time. Yeah. Empty all your thoughts, the relevant and irrelevant on butter paper. Doodles are not on, on butter paper. Doodles are not only fun, but they use also carry but they also but they usually call also carry carry messages. Nabubulol na ako. So, may mga times, no, nga doodle ka ng doodle, drawing ka ng drawing, drawing ka lang ng drawing. Pagkatapos pagtingin mo sa drawing mo, parang may muka, parang may itsura, parang, parang may form. Uy, pwede na. Concept na to. But sometimes, it is effective. Sometimes, it is being done. May mga architects na ganun lang ginagawa nila, may concept na silang maganda. No? Like, uh, like Frank Jerry in his Solomon and in his Judging Museum in Bilbao, Spain. Select one or couple of ideas. Work more intensively on them. Settle on the concept, an idea you personally feel attracted to. So sometimes, ah, yung instinct mo, yung emotion mo. If you are medyo attached to that idea, for now, o pwede mo ipush through mo na ang yung concept na yon. Remember, the great concepts have a humble beginning. Remember, concepts evolve. So nangyayari yon. With time, every architect finds his preferable way. So, wag nyo ng i-pressure yung self niyo mo na ngayon. Pero sure, pre, kailangan natin talaga ng pag-aralan yung conceptualization. Start with simple concepts. Start with with the most available concepts you have. Then from that, develop na lang natin ng dahan-dahan. Don't rush things up. Believe or trust the process. You will get there. Just be persevering. Just be dedicated, and just see to it that you love what you are doing, and you will, and you'll soon you'll get there. Okay? Okay? Okay, ba? 
Okay pa kayo? Okay pa kayo? But also, remember that concept is usually derived from idea related to the project, its function, context, objective. So, kung ano yung project na yun, ano yung context niya, ano yung purpose niya, ano yung function niya, dun pwede mang galing yung concept mo. The concept will definitely evolve as you work. Don't worry. So, may mga nangyari talaga doon. Wala kang concept, pero gawa, sa, sa habang ginagawa mo yung isang bagay, doon mo naaalala, ay, pwede pala to. Yes, tama pala. Tama pala. Ay, okay. Pwede ka lang. Pwede pala. No? The concept is to be applied on any project of any scale on the levels and details. And again, great concepts have a humble beginning. Don't rush things up. Trust the process. Be persevering. Be dedicated. And you will get there soon. So, uh, lastly, you, you have a concept but you don't know how to communicate it. Multiple tools can be used to express your idea, drawings, conceptual models, and use a little text. Using different materials, colors, and methods might help you both in deciding what better you are doing and hence express your concept. Sometimes you need multiple tools to express your ideas. So, uh, hanggang dito lang muna tayo. Uh, uh, hanggang dyan na lang muna tayo. I will not finish the slide because uh, hindi naman kailangan pa. So that it will not take us very long for this presentation. Again, guys, don't pressure yourself. Nag-start pa lang tayo. Still a long way to go for this semester. Still a long way to go as an architecture student. You still have five years, two years apprenticeship, and several months for board exam. Wag magmadale. I believe you can do it. You have started it already. Just if you have some other questions, clarifications related to this topic, just approach me. Approach any one of us, no, so that you can be clarified for your queries or questions you have in your mind. So, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for staying. I hope you stayed. And uh, God bless to everyone again. I'm your architect, teacher, blogger. And uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe, like, share, comment. Ano pa ba? Press the notification bell below for more updates. In my latest videos, blogs, adventure rides, videos, and etc. So thank you so much. So uh, God bless everyone.